The ninth reading comes from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Sing aloud, O daughter Zion. Shout, O Israel. Rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall fear disaster no more. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will renew you in his love. He will exult over you with loud singing, as on a day of festival. I will remove disaster from you, so that you will not bear reproach for it. I will deal with all your oppressors at that time. And I will save the lame and gather the outcast. And I will change their shame into praise and renown in all the earth. At that time, I will bring you home, at the time when I gather you. For I will make you renowned and praised among all the peoples of the earth, when I restore your fortunes before your eyes, says the Lord. Let us respond to this reading by saying in unison Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and his holy arm has he won for himself the victory. The Lord has made known his victory. His righteousness has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He remembers his mercy and faithfulness to the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all you lands. Lift up your voice, rejoice and sing. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, shout with joy before the King, the Lord. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it, the lands and those who dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands, and let the hills ring out with joy before the Lord when he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the earth and the peoples with equity. Let us pray. O God of unchangeable power and eternal light, look favorably on your whole church, that wonderful and sacred mystery. By the effectual working of your providence, carry out in tranquility the plan of salvation let the whole world see and know that things which were cast down are being raised up, and things which had grown old are being made new, and that all things are being brought to their perfection by him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The title of this reading is The Gathering of God's People. I know we yearn to gather at this time, most especially. I know that is deep in my heart, to gather again with those we love. And that is what this is promised. It promises gathering of all, bringing together everyone who has missed out, who has been shut away, the lame, the outcast, all of these brought together, brought together so that there will be no shame any longer, 
No exclusion, no lack. As we go about the mission of God, it is important to have our imagination formed so that we can see what is ahead of us and we can bring it into being. And so as we enter this final meditative reflection, begin thinking, what would it mean to gather, not just you with those you've known before, but with everyone, to bring everyone into community and fellowship? What might that look like? Might it make those of us who have exaltation now a little embarrassed to take a little away from us so that others can have more? Maybe there are some that are really desperate out there right now, and who are those who need the more? May we come together in full sharing and realize that in our gathering, we all have enough. And in that enough, it overflows. Think on this.